Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. My life, you ask, is currently in disarray, but we're gonna get it together. I'm sure I'm not the only, actually, I know I'm not the only mom in the world who <laughs> gets to the point of being just so beat down and so overwhelmed that your mental state is reflected into every aspect of your life and my home reflects it. So let's do my routine to get a home top to bottom clean quickly. No stress, no fuss. We're gonna go throughout the house and my first step is just gather all that laundry that just somehow gets put into different places. I don't know if it's just me, this happens. This is a great way to get kickstarted. You just hop from room to room, you grab the towels, maybe a bath mat, clothes, stuff stuffed in your bed, who knows? Sometimes I find socks in my bed. I, am I a mess? <laughs> and then stuff it in that laundry bin. Dress like laundry, the other stuff that really adds up is that life clutter. So this is just when you stick things in miscellaneous areas. I have a lot of miscellaneous spots that just have added up over time. And so we're just gonna collect everything throughout the house and put it in its home. We're not gonna make it perfect, but we're just gonna we're just gonna get it refreshed. With kids, you're obviously gonna find toys everywhere. You're gonna find that you know you were doing a bath time routine, and then suddenly like the lotion is in the kitchen, so the bathroom, or you took off your jewelry in the kitchen and then didn't get to put it back on the jewelry holder. Just little things like this. Just grab all the clutter and start putting it in its home. Now I like to set a mood. A candle can be a little dangerous while cleaning, but a diffuser, this one is just from Amazon. And then I just found this scent, I think it's called Santel. Love it. Having a nice, warm, clean scent being diffused into the air as you're cleaning your home can give you a sense that it's cleaner than it is. Now that the clutter is uncluttered, we do a top-down clean. This is important in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the living room, anywhere, because if you start vacuuming first and then you clean the counters and something falls onto the floor after you're cleaning the counters, it just doesn't make any sense. So I'll show you the bathroom for instance. I don't know what it is, but when I brush my teeth, it always splatters on my mirror. And so we start there, hit it with some Windex, get it clean. That's gonna be the top, moving down to the counters. Now wipe those counters clean, wipe the sink clean, move in a little bit lower. We are going to get those toilet clean. I bought this all-in-one toilet brush cleaner and it's made my life so easy. I'll link it down below. And then I go in to the bathtub, give that a little bit of a rinse. And finally, all the way down to the floors. I did vacuum last night, so I'm gonna go in with my vacuum mop and just hit those floors. And just like that, it is refreshed. You can clean your bathroom in five minutes. It might seem overwhelming, but promise, if you do it in the right order, it's not. It really is the thought of cleaning and the getting started of cleaning that takes a lot longer than cleaning. If you do this method, you can clean a bathroom in five minutes, I promise. Everything is all nice and clean now. I can come into my room and work on some therapy. Whew, okay, jump scare, therapy cry. <laughs> It's a good, it's it's a good cry. Cry, uh, crying is therapeutic to me. I'm I, I'm I'm a crier, but I have I have reasons right now. It's been about a month since I posted the last video of me crying, and that situation has been ongoing over this past month, which is why I'm so happy that I have therapy right now and that I can word vomit and have a professional therapist just listen. Today's video is actually sponsored by BetterHelp, who I've been using for over a year. For me, it has been a great resource of therapy because I can do it from home. I can cry at home. You can voice call, phone call, chat message. BetterHelp has over 30,000 licensed professionals. You can get matched in about 48 hours or less. And if for whatever reason you don't vibe with your therapist, you can switch for whatever reason without having to worry about if they're in network with your insurance. I will have a link down below. It is just betterhelp.com slash Baylin. Again, that is betterhelp as in H-E-L-P slash Baylin to get 10% off your first month. And I think what BetterHelp offers by getting to get help from home however you want to receive it from a licensed professional is really, really cool. So I will have that link down below for you guys to check out. And now I think we need to do my little post therapy post cry 
cup of tea. <coughs> oh, by the way, I have pneumonia. Did I mention that? She is thriving. <laughs> we got my favorite mug. I don't know if they still sell it. I got this like three years ago, but it's from Anthropology. Today I'll be doing peppermint tea and Manuka honey. I'm actually pretty new to being a tea drinker, so let me know if I'm doing something wrong or if they're, I don't know, you have a favorite tea thing? But yeah, I'm probably doing that wrong. I shouldn't have put the honey on the tea bag. There we go, there we go. Cheers. Well, I mean, actually we have, we're, we're gonna let her sit. Sit and soak. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of shaking right now. I'm having a little mini panic attack. So I'm just trying to breathe through it. Don't clench, don't clench, don't clench. I'm doing something very out of the ordinary. I'm gonna hang out with other content creators. I have been on YouTube for 13 years, and if you look back at all of my content, I don't really collaborate or hang out with other YouTubers. I do have friends in the industry, but they're always like the managers or the makeup artists or really the people that work behind the scenes. Getting kind of imposter syndrome being invited to this a little bit because <laughs> it's a Friendsgiving, but I think I've only met Amanda Steele twice, both very briefly, but she's also a mom now. So I'm really excited to meet who she is now. We'll have some things to bond over even though we do have an age gap or I'll just be super socially awkward and I'll make no friends out of this, but we're getting out of our comfort zone. I took a quick little bath. I did my breathing. I feel like the panic attack has passed and I have just spoken with my mom and I think now I can actually share based off when this video is going up. I think it's going to go up in two weeks from now and so our family will finally be sharing what happened a month ago and kind of make sense of what happened in that video. A lot of people thought I was just being over dramatic or crying to get views. That That is not not what I do. I just wanted to respect my family until my mom felt in a good place. But pretty much from a month ago until now, we have been on the journey of my mom having some health things come up. That day in specific is when everything just happened suddenly and there was an emergency visit. We thought one thing was happening and thankfully something else was found that probably like it had to have been a perfect storm in order for her to get this test because she had no other symptoms for it but they found a mass in her lungs and we're staying very positive and it's you know been a journey over this month of seeing doctors and getting biopsies and now I feel like we all feel a lot better with a plan in place and a lot more positive with the results being lung cancer. My mom is already a cancer survivor, like stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. She battled that for years when I was a kid. She kicked its butt, like beating all odds. And so this little lung cancer, it's, it's, it's gonna be nothing. But obviously journey has played a huge part in all of our lives and we're just staying really positive and thankfully lung cancer has made a lot of big medical strides in just the past two years so you know we're just good timing she caught it early she went in for one thing and they thought it was something else and then they found this that is where i have been mentally that is why i was crying on camera then cried a little bit on camera now but not out of fear just out of the unknown. I feel like until you come up with a plan for things like this, a medical plan and how you're gonna attack everything, it the, the unknowing is scary. But having a plan, we feeling good, feeling secure, feeling positive, and now we're gonna get dressed and do our little Friendsgiving thing. I have not been social in five weeks so i'm really pushing myself to get out there every part of my being does not 
want to be social right now, but I know it's good for me and hopefully I make a new friend. For today's Friendsgiving, I was told we need two outfits. We're doing like a little get together glam session, so something casual, so we're not supposed to do our hair or makeup, followed by a fancy Friendsgiving dinner after, so we could dress up a little bit more. I might try to find something that could work for both. That way I don't need to bring a change of outfits because my mind, I, I don't know if I could come up with two outfits right now. I do have an idea. I have this dress that I have never worn. It looks kind of not exciting on or like showing you like this. The brand is Frankie's Bikini. I got this on sale. I think they're still on sale. It comes in white too, but I thought that would be a little see-through. And I feel like this could be casual if I wear it with sneakers and then could also work for a dressed up look, but let's try it on and see. Here she is on. I feel like maybe I should do a casual outfit and then this for the dinner. I don't know. This just doesn't feel like a casual outfit that they recommended for the glam session. I don't know if you've heard this, but I saw it on TikTok and I haven't tried it, but supposedly red underwear hides better under white pants than nude. Let's see if it's true. I am supposed to start my period like today or tomorrow, so this could be risky. Wait, did that actually work? Can you see the red? <gasps> Does this TikTok trick work? Big change, I decided to do the complete opposite and do all white neutral. This puffer vest, Amazon find. These Amazon, Amazon skims, Amazon, Amazon. <laughs> like, it's so, it's cool, right? It's cool. I think this, this is the vibe. This is the vibe. I actually have no idea what temperature is outside. I'm assuming it's going to be hot, but once I go to West Hollywood, I think it's going to be cold. So, vest. I hope, I hope we made the right move. Okay, now I gotta pack you up and you can come with me. Hopefully I'm not too awkward to film and we can get some content. Well, that was a, um, filming bust. I did not realize that this Friendsgiving was gonna be all filmed and that it's not going live until sometime in November and so I couldn't film anything. I left here at noon, it is now 10 p.m. I have to go pick up my daughter at 6 a.m. from her father's and then get her ready and take her to school. One thing about me is I'm going to wash off my makeup no matter what. I probably will get, I don't know, six hours sleep which isn't too bad. The sooner I can get this makeup off, the sooner I can fall asleep, which I hope is immediately. We're gonna peel off our eyelashes. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die. Am I gonna be able to give you my full routine? Burst cleansing balm and just melt away all the makeup. Hurry, hurry, hurry. My camera's even like, girl, let's go to sleep. It's been too long. This was a full face of makeup, a full whole thing. I don't usually use makeup wipes, but we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're still gonna double cleanse, but this is just gonna make sure because the layer of makeup is so thick. And I'm being rough with my skin. It's that time, it's, you know, I'm not always like that, but it's just that time of day. Like a full face, a full face of makeup. Wetting the face, going in with La, Re La Brige Pose. I could, I could never say that. My camera died. So we're gonna go in with our anti-bacteria toner. I use it as a toner. Under eye cream, I've been trying the Pharmacy Honey Pot. I just feel like Pharmacy makes the most moisturizing products. Some snail mucin for hydration. Just all over the face. Moisturizer again, pharmacy, but the honey pot. Oops, I've only used a little bit of it, but so far, I really like it. And we're just gonna go crazy, just all over the face. Just get it on so we can go to sleep. <laughs> I'm back on my grande lash game. Just right on the lash line. Let's take this off. 
take ooh, ooh, my hair out. Oops. We are ready for bed. We did it.